Let's solve this question together. It says e raised to the power x minus e raised to the power minus x over 2 is equal to 1. Then I'm going to solve for the value of x. Okay. Now, first things first, we can say let us apply each term here by 2. Okay, so we have this place times 2 and the other side of the equal sign by 2. Okay. 2 will strike 2 so that we have e raised to the power x minus e raised to the power minus x is equal to 1 times 2 is 2. Hence, from here we can say that, okay, e raised to the power x minus 1 divided by e raised to the power x is equal to 2. Okay? This is what we have here. Because when you have e, a, a raised to the power minus b is equal to 1 over a raised to the power b, so we just apply the same law here. Now, moving on from here, we can say, let's multiply each term here by e raised to the power x. e raised to the power x times e raised to the power x is equal to e raised to the power 2x, okay, because you have e raised to the power x plus x, okay, which is 2x, minus 1 over e raised to the power x times e raised to the power x is, is 1, okay, so this is 1, and this is equal to 2 times e raised to the power x is 2 e raised to the power x. From here, we now have e raised to the power 2x minus 2 e raised to the power x minus 1 is equal to 0, okay. From here, we can say, let's e raised to the power x be equals y. Now, this expression can be written as e raised to the power x all squared minus 2 e raised to the power x minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay? This is what the expression can be written as. So, moving on from here, we have said that e raised to the power x is equal to y. So, that we have, replacing this by y, we have what? y squared minus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, now from here we can now say that let's use the quadratic formula. We say y will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, where a is the coefficient of y squared, b is the coefficient of y, and c is the constant term. Now y now will be equal to minus b will now be what? Minus minus 2, which is 2, plus or minus square root of. 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times minus 4. 4 times minus 1 is plus 4, okay? Then a is already 1, okay? So all over 2 times 4, which is 2. And this is equal to. So y becomes equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 8 divided by 2. This is equal to 2 plus or minus. 2 root 2 divided by 2, this is equal to 1 plus or minus, okay, root 2. Alright, so from here you can say that it's either that y is equal to 1 plus root 2 or 1 minus root 2. Now, given that y is equal to 1 plus root 2, for example, root 2 is 1.414 plus 1 is 2.414, mean that y here is greater than what? Zero. For this side, this is 1.414. 1 minus 1.414. Here, what? Y is less than zero. So the answer we'll pick is the answer where y is greater than zero. All right. And now equate it to our e raised power x. So moving on from here, we can say we call that y is equal to e raised power x, and our y is equal to what? Y is equal to one plus root two. Okay. Now, given that y is equal to one plus root two, means that e raised power x. Is equal to 1 plus root 2. Let's say the natural log of both sides. Now, ln of e raised to the power x is equal to ln of 1 plus root 2. Okay? This is in brackets. Now, from here, we can say that when you have ln of e raised to the power x, same thing as saying log in base e of e raised to the power x, and this is equal to x multiplied by log in base e of e, which is equal to this is 1 times x, which is x. Hence, ln of e raised to the power x is equal to x. Okay? So we have x here to be equal to ln of 1 plus root 2. Okay? So this becomes the final answer to this question. Thanks for watching. If you made this end, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.